Well, up next on tonight's agenda, the wall. President Trump says he's going to build it and has signed executive orders to start the process. Democrats are trying to build their own wall in response, a wall of votes in the Congress that will deny Trump's plan to fund the wall across the southern border. One of the bricks in the defensive wall is Democratic Congressman John Yarmuth of Kentucky. He joins us tonight from Louisville. Congressman, thanks all for coming on. Well, so, thanks, Tucker. Good to be with um, you. You've heard a lot of people in the last couple of days, many on the left, Democratic Party, the government of Mexico, describe the wall, the proposed wall, as immoral. Do you think that's right? Do you have a moral problem with the wall on the border? Well, I think it's wrong in a lot of ways. Uh, most, uh, my biggest objection to it is that it doesn't make any sense. Uh, too many people equate border security with a, a physical obstruction, and that's mm -hmm. not the reality of the situation. I've been to the border. I've talked to the Border Patrol officers, and what they say is walls or obstructions or fences or whatever it is make sense in heavily populated areas, but they don't make sense in, in remote areas. The only benefit of, a, law, of a, a wall or a fence or whatever kind of physical obstruction is that it delays the, um, a, a person from getting over the wall and therefore the ability to uh, right. apprehend them. So if you're in Juarez uh, across the border from El Paso and you get into El Paso, uh, the Border Patrol has like 30 seconds to get you before you're, out, you're beyond uh, their apprehension. If you're in the desert 100 miles away, they have uh, 24 hours or maybe even 48 hours to actually right. get you before you get to a place where you could be, uh, you could disappear. And so it, the, the idea, just logically okay. and log logistically, that it makes sense to build a 2,000 mile wall is absurd. So, but I, I, and that, and I want to talk about that in just one second, but just back to my original question. You seem to hedge a little bit yeah. in your answer, so I want to, I want to press you. Uh, do you have a moral problem moral. with it? Many people in your party do have a, a moral problem with it, they say it out loud. And I wonder if you do, and if so, why? Does the country have a right to build the wall? The Mexicans say we don't, Democrats say we don't. What do you think? Yeah, well, we have a right to, and I'm not sure the morality enters into it. I mean, I think it's okay, a question. That's fair. Every, everybody wants to have everybody wants to have secure borders. I think there's no question about that. But when you factor in, um, you you have property rights, you have environmental issues, and those types of things. Then it, it's not necessary. I mean, there's a I mean, there's, there's a philosophical issue involved. I'm not sure it's morality. There's nothing okay. immoral about a wall. And there's, but, but there's certainly, uh, from, from my perspective, uh, as public policy, uh, it's a question of whether it makes sense and well, then, whether it I makes economic what, sense and environmental right. sense and all the other. Whether it works or not. Then what do you, I mean, we have some examples, and, and they're not exactly the same, but we can extrapolate from them. So the, the famous wall in Israel, for example, is not, it's 440 miles long, and it, it's not all urban area, and of course it's been wildly effective, and the U.S. government supported it from the very beginning, and, it's, and it right. ended terrorism there. Um, there's another wall between Egypt and Israel. It's also been similarly effective. It, it reduced immigration across there illegally by 99%, um, and there's of right. course a wall now in Eastern Europe, which has been very successful, and it's hundreds of miles long. So if the walls don't work, why have those walls worked? Well, it depends on, again, it depends on where you're, you are and what kind of dynamic you're, you're involved with. We have 700 miles of barriers right now. So we, we have barriers on one third of the southern border already. Uh, are they effective? In certain places they are. Again, I've been to El Paso and Juarez where there are three or four layers of, of fences and it, you know, it takes a while for somebody to get over all of those obstructions. They get over them uh, just as they would get over a 30-foot wall or a 20-foot wall or a 50-foot wall, uh, or they'd get under it. The question is uh, what happens after they get over or under the wall, right. and I, that's what we ought to be focused on, I think it's, uh, and, that, and, that's and we can do question. that. We have the technology available. I, I was part of the Gang of Eight. Uh, right, in the house that, yeah, that uh, worked on comprehensive immigration reform in 2013, and we dealt with all those issues. And the, and even members of the the gang of but, eight but who wait, were from wait, Texas on. said, yeah, yeah. Uh, but but Go I ahead. mean, the Congress didn't actually deal with all those issues because we have hundreds of thousands of people coming into we the didn't. country illegally, and the bulk of the heroin that comes into this country comes through that border, as you know, and it's devastated your state, Kentucky, and Jefferson County, I think, which you represent, has the highest overdose rate in the state of Kentucky. I'm sure you know all about this. That's Mexican heroin. Oh, yeah. And so what we're doing isn't working. 
How does it help your constituents specifically to oppose this wall, which, I don't know, it's different, it might work. <laughs> Status quo is not working. No, I mean, everybody I've talked to in, in the border security area and the drug enforcement area says that's not the issue. The issue is not whether you, because you're never going to build obstructions that are going to keep all of these, uh, keep drug dealers or illegal, illegal immigrants out of the country. I mean, okay. the reality is, if you look at the statistics, over the last few years, we've actually had an improvement over the, the uh, in terms of uh, illegal border crossings. And we, we've, re we've reduced those. Uh, the, border, the Border Patrol are actually doing pretty good jobs. There's no, but, a technology but, that we can deploy that, that would improve second. that even further. So you're so, saying that it's, it's, you, kind of, it's kind of working, even though heroin is killing all these people in your state and there are hundreds of thousands of people coming to this country with 11 million illegally here? It doesn't seem like it's working, and I, I just don't well, understand we, no, why. We, if we, we stopped 50 percent of those, it would be an, an advantage to us, wouldn't it? Well, well, you know, you've got a cost-benefit analysis there, but Tucker, the we, high. We're at a 40, we have a 40-year low now. In, in terms of net illegal immigration from the from the uh, Central America, I don't think that's true. Low. No, I don't, I don't think that's well, right. I don't think that's right. I, I, have you seen the numbers? No. I mean, just the the recent numbers. In 2010, no. I mean, in, in 2010, it was like half what it is just this last year. I mean, there was a massive surge in the last year of people crossing illegally, and a lot of them were apprehended, but a lot of them weren't. And so, like, if you were well, able to numbers, stop 50 percent of that, wouldn't that be mine. a huge gain? Okay. Your numbers are different than mine. We have a net. We we have actually a net uh, negative uh, illegal immigration thing. More people are going back to Mexico than are coming. We're now it's under Mexico, 11 million America. undocumented. We have a okay. more than less than 11 million uh, undocumented immigrants now, okay. which is a, which is a long time low. And uh, you know, the, Mexico is not the only source of illegal drugs. I, I don't think anyone thinks it is coming into this country. I, so, but it's the biggest know, source. So, okay, I'm, we're out of time, Congressman. With respect, I don't think those numbers are right, but perhaps I'm wrong. I still think it's a problem. But I appreciate your coming on. Thank you.